Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jose, the California Beekeeper. We purchased a bunch of equipment for the queen breeding season. We're gonna be prepping the equipment, so follow us along to see how it's done. Paint day today, we are going to paint our nukes, make it a big event. Kelly, Max, and we're gonna rock and roll with these mini nukes. Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me, and I hope that you never decide to set me free. So, you know, when we're prepping all our nukes, getting them ready, we usually paint them by hand with little rollers and you get a nice good coat. We're gonna try spray painting them with our airless sprayer right over here. We have a bunch of little ones. I mean, th this paint goes a long way. So, set myself up a little unit like this and you can use, I mean, you can use different things. Here I used a, just this long extension cord, ran it all the way down. It's whatever system you like, this is the way that we're gonna try it this year, rather than rolling them. Uh, rolling them, I mean, it's fun, it's pretty chill, but time, right now, we just need to get these rolling. There's a storm coming in, you can see the front of it by tomorrow. So, get these, these should dry by the end of the day, and we have a good amount, so. Let's go. Let's not waste time. We'll take this slow. We got miles behind us, but miles to go. This so is actually a nice color. What is this, babe? Like to the simplest magenta. I don't know. But it's a cool color. Nice and bright. Uh, not too dark. We're going to give it a quick pass and try to be quick just because we don't want these seams on the lids to get caked with um, paint. As soon as they dry a little, we'll just pop them. That way um, it doesn't seal it and you get styrofoam that will break because it's pretty much like glue. So once we get that first paint, dry a couple minutes, pop the lid a little, just so it doesn't get stuck. Here we go. It's not waste time. Take this slow. We've got miles behind us, but miles to go, so let's just break. One thing that I just learned is if we're gonna spray, maybe we need to paint a bunch of them one color. Um, these small ones sucks up half the can just in your line. And now we have to tilt it to the side just to get the rest of it. So sucking air, here we go. There's a little bit only. Dump it out? Little bit. Little bit. Just a little bit more. So right here we're, we're going to pop open another can. We're just gonna put it in there and it's gonna mix the colors a little bit. No big deal. Purple and and banana mania. Okay. Let's see what kind of banana color that makes. Rotten bananas. What is this? We're gonna get another can. Under this, uh, we ran out. It's getting low and it's sucking a lot of air. So to not suck any more air, we're gonna put the next color on. It's gonna yeah. mix the colors to, together, but no big deal. Yeah, how uh, do you do it? Yellow, purple, whatever that makes, that's our new color. Little banana. Yellow banana. Let's set this up. Okay, got it? 
<laughs> so we are painting 40 nukes at a time and we have 548 to paint we're hoping to get them all done today and then after that we'll move on to the frames gluing them and assembling them and then putting them back into the boxes are they in the boxes right now they're all inside Okay, so we're gonna have to pull those out and then hot glue the foundation in, which the foundation we already have cut. And we're using the black foundation. It's easier to see the eggs in the black foundation than in the yellow foundation. So we like to use the black. That way when we're queen catching, we can check foundation. So now we're turning them around. That way we can get the, uh, the fronts and backs. This is where our colors might get mixed up. So we might be onto something here. We set trends out here. Yeah. We're going for ombre rather than mixing and turning to a puke brown. Puke brown. Puke brown. <laughs> In that case, we should have just purchased a huge bucket of, of the brown. Okay, do you guys think that the color is going to come out as an ombre, like purple, and then it'll fade to yellow, or is it going to come out with the colors mixed together? Comment down below. Let us know what you think. What's your prediction? This is so much faster than painting it by hand. I'm so happy. Jose came up with this idea. Last year we painted it by hand with rollers. And boy, did it take a long time. This looks like it's only gonna take, I don't know, maybe an hour or two? Rather than all day? Okay, so it's starting to turn that puke brown. <laughs> They're already pretty much dry. So when he painted the um, the tops and then he flipped it, the tops are already dry. That was so fast. <laughs> so now we're gonna set them here, space them just a hair. That way the wet paint, that way they don't stick. From time to time, this will get clogged up. So this little nipple here, it'll get clogged up right there. So I just like to clear it out, put it back to its original setting and continue. That's fast, huh? So it really does not matter what color the what color the nukes are. I mean it does. You don't want them too dark to absorb the heat from the sun, but but as far as like if they're all one color or if the colors mix or whatever, it just doesn't matter. I guess this is the problem with getting the small cans of paint. We did not anticipate um, using the using the paint sprayer, so we got such small cans. And we're having a little trouble. Yeah. Hey guys, and we painted all these boxes. 
like us. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you guys for watching us on YouTube. Well, I'm sure you guys, Kelly already told you that. This is white, Daddy. Next time we're going to get bigger ones. That this is white. That is gray. It's white with a little black. No, no, my name is White Day. Okay, we're on our fourth color. And we've done, I don't know how many we've done. At least 80. Mm -hmm. It's getting warm out here. It's getting 60 in the upper 60s. and Can't really have these set. I should have put a little paint thinner on it in the paint. That way it could just flow a little easier and not get caked on on your, on your spray nozzle. Salmon. Usually have 10, 10 come per box. A couple years ago, they were, weren't they like 20s? Were they bigger boxes? They were bigger boxes, they were like 50 packs. You remember? They came in that um, big square one. Mm -hmm. No? She doesn't remember. I am taking Kennedy on a quick walk around the orchard because she is crying and it is impossible to get work done when you're trying to do both, you know, take care of the kids, stop them from crying and then also get work done. It's literally impossible. But I was going to show you guys um, across the street. It was for cattle, but they took down the fence. And so we're thinking that maybe they are going to plant an orchard. We are surrounded by almond orchards out here, almost on every side. If it doesn't have cattle, then it has almonds. There's some walnuts, but mostly it's almonds. Okay, so this is the neighbor's property. So you guys can guess what it's going to be. Is it going to be another cattle farm? Or is it going to be, or is it going to be another orchard? I'm sure we'll find out here soon. This is the reason why we think it might be an orchard because right, let's see, right there, there used to be a fence that went along there, but um, they took it down and burned it. And they've been doing a lot of work to clean up the property. So yeah, we're curious to see if they are going to put an orchard up and then we'll probably go talk to them and see if they need pollination. Okay, let's get back to the work. I think Kennedy has fallen asleep. Let's check. Yes, she has. Yep, she's asleep. So game time, time to get back to work. I'm really happy today. I, I love this spraying technique <laughs> that we finally figured out. I really am a firm believer in working Smarter, not harder. So this is great. After we get all the nukes painted, the next thing that we need to do is switch the lids and the doors with the bodies. Mix match all the different colors to help the bees be able to identify their home. And we are also probably going to speckle paint all of the nukes. So we just need to get a spray bottle to be able to do that. But we are making good progress. It's about, what, one or two in the afternoon? We have about three hours left of daylight left. So we'll get these, finish getting these painted. <laughs> Airplane passing over. So we'll finish getting these painted and then if it's not too cold tonight, then we will begin prepping the frames with foundation. Kind of gets really cold at night lately though. And I'm not a fan of working in the cold. We ordered a propane heater from Home Depot and I waited about a month for it. And then I checked the order and it said that it was sold out and that they're not getting any more back in stock. So last year, we, Kelly and I picked out some colors and we went more of the pastel Easter colors. They came out great. Some colors that we picked weren't really the colors that we ordered, but made it work. These colors, these colors here, 
are looking really sharp. So this year, we let Max pick the, co pick the colors and he picked some great colors. Look, check it out. Look at that. Yeah. It's two-tone. Yes. They came out great, look. It's like a, so if you're from the 80s, I'm not saying I'm from Mama. the 80s, but I'm from the 80s. Mama. Um, Mom. Color changer Hot Wheels. That's what it looked like right there, guys. Two-tone. So the priming, I'm not a painter. I don't know these machines much, but what I do know is that when it sucks in that air, it doesn't spray, it doesn't, there isn't enough pressure in your nozzle gun to get it going, so you have to prime it. Priming, it sucks up the paint back into the line, set it back, once you hear it, you can hear it. I'll show you. So right here, it's priming. Once it builds that pressure, you're good to go. Hi guys, this is me, Dad, and Mom. Me, Dad, painting boxes. Here we go. All right, this is what we got going on right now, guys. We got the greens, we got the blues, we got the grays, got the oranges, got the purple, and we got the mound, and we are still not done. We had to go inside, go eat a little bit, back out here, and it's dark. It's barely, uh, it's about 540. We're gonna continue this tomorrow. Hopefully finish, well, not hopefully, we're gonna finish it tomorrow, because we have to finish it, because we have, See all these foundations that we have to put together. 1,500 frames need foundation. So, bada bing, bada boom. So, so wet. So, hey, we'll bring you back tomorrow, guys. Can't really paint too early in the morning. There's a lot of moisture in the air here and these things just seem to just melt you get all that just moisture land on them and it just it's not good so we have to wait at least till that moisture is gone and so i actually changed my mind we're gonna keep painting and looks like it's gonna start to sprinkle no big deal we'll get a first coat and i will lay some lids just right on top of them. Should be good to go. Let's rock and roll. Let's do it fast. Fast, fast, fast. Come on, Max. Let's go. We will be back tomorrow. Right? All right. And we're going to finish it. Are we going to finish tomorrow? We should, huh? Yeah. All right. Thumbs up, guys. We'll see ya. Thank you. What's going on guys? It is the next morning and we chose to keep rocking and rolling and painting all these nukes. I just did not want to clean my paint sprayer twice. Just knocked it out. We did get a little, little moisture on top of these, but that gives a good character. <laughs> Splattered some little paint over here. But yeah, a little moisture got on top of them. No big deal give it another little coat or just leave it like that. It's no big deal. Uh, here we go. Just laid them out. These ones were all dried. They were all dry, so I was able to stack them. That was the last round that I ran out of paint here. Had some, some off-white, so I just painted them off-white. It's actually a pretty decent color. I like this a lot just because it won't absorb a lot of heat. Those ones were wet. All these were wet, so I had to leave them out. And we'll probably swap out some of these doors, lids, with this stuff already. 
not sure. Maybe we'll swap lids here and swap some doors. I have so many doors from what the bear damaged the last time. We have so many of them. We have bags. Look at this. Bag here, bag here, bag there, bag here, bag there, bag back there, there, there. That is it, guys. Juiced. Can't wait to start putting the foundation on. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below, smash that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up on this video, guys, and we'll see you.